the other thing that I bought was from Sasa. Sasa is like a, um, it's like Sally's beauty supply store, but an Asian version. So we have a couple of Sally's, uh, we have a couple of Sasa shop, shops here in Singapore. And I usually get my, uh, you know, sponges, makeup sponges, and also sometimes, you know, nail polish remover, cotton buds and stuff like that from there. And I found this um, beauty blender sponge, but this is called Beauty CA, designed by D Artist, and this was six dollars and ninety cents. I know in Singapore there there's some online block sellers who ha who sell this for like eight bucks, but it's in like you know uh, blue color and stuff like that. So I managed to get this at six dollars and ninety cents. And in fact, I think now they have like a 10% promotion or something like that. So you still get a good deal. So as you can see, this one is like kind of large now because I've used it because I soaked it in water and then I squeezed all of it, all the moisture out. So it, it you know, it does swell up. So this is not the size. It's much smaller. So I'm not sure if you can see. It's much smaller. This is like, you see, it has swelled up so much. So I really liked it. I've I've applied my foundation using this uh, sponge. I I think it really works really really good. Um, but then again, if you are a brush user, you might find this a little cumbersome because you have to like take your time to blend. You know, whereas a blush, a brush, a stippling brush or a flat top kabuki brush, you just go in swirls and you are done. So, but then the good thing about it is that because of the top, the pointed top, I was able to get my concealer and also my foundation all done in the corners, uh, in the inner corner of my eye area, under eye area and also around my nose. Usually with a brush, I have to go with a smaller brush to, you know, fix those areas. But with this, I was able to fix everything. So I really liked it and I also applied my cream blusher using the same sponge and these are reusable you just have to wash them and you're good to go so i'm going to use the daiso detergent for this because what it says is uh, detergent for puff and sponge so i i've used it for brush now i'm going to use it for sponge and see how it works. what a trip to singapore without visiting mac right so i had about 12 uh, items that I've used and I had the containers left so in Singapore you just give them six six empty containers and you can exchange it for a lipstick so I got two lipsticks I had 12 uh, containers to return first one is called Russian red this is a beautiful red so this is how it looks like Russian red Oh, sorry, I didn't show you. The next one is called Speak Louder. This is a cream sheen formula. So this is how it looks like. It's like a hot pink kind of lipstick, fuchsia hot pink lipstick. I've used this in one of my videos, which I'm still editing. So once it's up, you'll be able to see the, you know, uh, pigmentation and how it looks on our brown skin tone and I also picked up a paint pot in a constructivist I have so many paint pots you know I am a huge fan of MAC paint pots because uh, for me personally having oily lids you know it really um, it really holds well and of course it does crease if you don't apply a primer but other than that, I feel that using that alone, sometimes, you know, I could just get away with just applying a paint pot, some liner, mascara, and I'm good to go. It's, it's no fuss kind of makeup, so I really like it. And I always use the paint pot for my clients because it tends to stay much better than the, um, you know, NYX jumbo pencils because those crease like crazy. And uh, also, I found that it's much better with the paint pot because you can still return back and get something in return compared to buying like the Makeup Forever ones. Makeup Forever ones are slightly expensive and they tend to dry out like the aqua creams. I have like four aqua creams. I'm not really very happy with those. 
uh, and I found that they were really expensive where the uh, makeup I mean the MAC pink pots are kind of okay they last for a really long time and um, they're kind of multi-use you can also not necessarily for your eyes you can also use it as highlights and cheek colors now I wanted to keep the best for the last um, I did a purchase from Sigma makeup uh, when they had their Thanksgiving sale I believe and they had this international free shipping um, promotion at that time I really looked forward to that because shipping is really expensive when you uh, when usually us international customers buy from Sigma so I wanted to wait until they had the promotion and I'm also affiliated you know I use that affiliation um, thing on my site so um, we get updates when they have promotions like this so I took advantage of it and I bought the um, what is this the synthetic kabuki kit it comes with uh, four brushes awesome brushes these are the ones that I really like and this one is the F80 brush flat top kabuki you have seen me using uh, this brush to apply my foundation I have a video on that as well I really like it and I have this F82 also this is my second set so probably I'm going to be doing a giveaway and I'm going to give this brush away to one lucky winner soon that video will come up later and the next one is F84 this is the angle top kabuki so it has an angle so I foresee that this would be good to do contouring applying blush and also in fact applying foundation um, and the next one is a tapered kabuki this is the F86 brush so again for contouring actually to be honest all these brushes you can just use them any way you want because there's no rules you know in makeup you can just use any kind of brush for any purpose really um, if you find, you know, just like the 109 MAC brush uh, that's supposed to be for contouring but many of us use it for foundation application so I really don't see, you know, what's the fuss in uh, sticking to rules and using the brushes based on what they are described by the companies so, so for brushes, I'm very excited to use them and then I managed to Then I also managed to get um, you know those individual um, brushes from Sigma. Uh, these are, I think you know um, animal head brushes. So this one is uh, F35. It's the tapered brush. So it, so this is to deposit color and also to blend out any harsh lines. And also you can use this to apply any, um, you know, like cream products, especially for the eye area. I love using uh, a brush to apply the cream products than to use my fingers. I think it's just this habit I have, uh, I mean, of being a makeup artist. I prefer using brushes for sanitary purposes. So the next one is the E25. It's a blending brush. Oops. So this is how it looks like. I think this is like the 217 brush, MAC 217 brush. So it's always good to have brushes like this because you know you tend to use use them up so much that uh, it's quite kind of difficult to always keep washing them and yeah. Anyways, and the next one is the E45 brush. This is the small tapered blending brush. So I believe this is supposed to be the dupe for uh, MAC 224 yeah so you can actually do detailed uh, uh, you can deposit the color uh, just around your crease and you know a little bit more detailed work so i'm pretty excited to use this brush and the next one is a short shader brush this is the f f20 
So what it does is that it's a stiff brush, stiff dense brush where you pick up the color, you can do um, you know, shading of your lower lash line and also to pack a color on the areas that you want some definition. So this is a good brush for that. And I also picked up this one, uh, Tapered Highlighter F35. So this is to apply highlight. I would use this to apply loose powder for my concealer and also maybe I might try using this brush to apply foundation. I don't know. We can experiment and see. So now the last thing from Sigma is the uh, it, it's the cleansing polishing tool. I've I've been wanting to get the um, Clarisonic one, but uh, you know now uh, I don't have that much money, so I am on a budget because I have a little one on the way. I have to think for that little precious one. So I bought this instead. However, I don't know if it's a good thing because this uses a double A battery. I don't know what's the usage like. So maybe it might be a good investment. Maybe not really. <laughs> this was thirty nine. Oops. This was thirty nine dollars um, USD. So it's a something similar to the Clarisonic one, but probably a cheaper version. So it comes with a soft head, medium, and the hard one. So I believe this too is actually for your you know, body, if you want to do exfoliation for your body. And this soft one is actually for the face. So previously, you know, uh, before all this came around, I was actually using the Body Shop uh, Face Cleanser. You know, those soft, similar to this, but it comes with a handle. It was only $5.90 and for years I have been using that on my face. So now everything is also high tech and fancy, you know, they have it electronic something like the electronic toothbrush so yeah it's kind of interesting so again i will do a review and tell you guys if it's worth paying that much money getting this for your face routine and yeah that's pretty much so this was pretty much what i've been buying so far i'm pretty sure before my you know trip ends here i will be getting a couple more things so i will be reviewing all of them because that is my goal because I want to share my views with you guys on makeup products as well instead of just tutorials. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video where I chit chat. I think it's a very long video. I think it's going to be part one, part two. Anyways, thank you once again for watching my videos and supporting me uh, all this while. 2011 has been an amazing year for me in terms of the YouTube journey. And I hope you will give me your continual support for 2012. So, bye now. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Bye.